So I've got this friend who is a ProtonMail user, and he's received this email that ProtonMail failed to automatically decrypt for him, for whatever reason. And he, uh, I'd like to show him how to decrypt this message himself. So before we begin, I, I want to apologize for any audio quality issues or keyboard noises you might hear. I'm recording on my laptop. Uh, so with that, let's begin. So, I want to back up first, and I want to show you how we got to this point in the first place. How someone might have created an encrypted email and sent it to this email address. So, uh, to begin that process, first I have to send an email to my friend, and I want to tell him, uh, I want him to send me an encrypted email. So. So in order, to, in order for him to encrypt an email to me, I need to send him my public key. In order to do that, I hit the More menu, and I check this box, Attach Public Key, and then I hit Send. So he's going to shortly uh, receive this email in his box. So this is his email. Uh, we're pretending here. So he gets this email from me, and in the attachments is my public key. So he's going to save this onto his computer. And now that he has my public key, he can use some PGP software to encrypt an email to me. So let's get that PGP software. So we're going to go to gnupg.org. That's newpg.org. And we're going to go to the download section. Uh, down here, we're going to go to the binary releases, and we're going to get the Windows version, GPG for Win, and we're going to download it. It's going to ask for a donation that is optional, so uh, this time we're going to hit zero, and we're going to hit download. So you're going to download this file, and you're going to install this to your computer. Uh, you can go through all the default selections, you don't have to change anything. And once you finish downloading this, you'll have this software on your machine called Cleopatra. So uh, with Cleopatra, you can import um, that public key we just downloaded. So we're going to go to Import, and we're going to find our public key. And this, uh, we're going to hit No to this prompt. Uh, because we don't have a private key to um, to certify this with yet. So anyway, you can see that this public key has my email in it. And with this, we can encrypt an email uh, to ourselves. So we're going to go to the notepad here. And um, we're going to type a message, a super secret message. And in this recipients tab, we have to select who we want to encrypt it for. So I'm just going to start typing. Uh, that's my email address, so I'm going to say I want to encrypt to that person. And then I'm going to go back over here and hit encrypt notepad. So once that's done, it's going to have this uh, encrypted message here. So we're going to copy this to our keyboard, uh, clipboard. And we're going to go into our friend's email account. And we're going to reply. Actually, let's not reply. Let's compose a new email, rather. And in the body of the email, I'm going to paste the PGP message and hit send. Okay, so over back in my Proton Mail, I'm going to wait a second for this email to come in. Okay, so this is the message that I just sent. I'm going to open it. And you can see that Proton Mail was able to automatically decrypt this for me uh, using my private key. So it now you see it says super secret message instead of that jumble of letters and numbers that you saw earlier. So this, this was an automatic process. I didn't have to do anything. Uh, so how might that 
decryption process fail. So that decryption process might fail if, uh, for example, let's compose another email to myself. And I'm going to paste the exact uh, message again, but this time I'm going to add like a, maybe like some text before the PGP message. Um, and this is going to mess up ProtonMail's decryption because it's not going to think that it's an encrypted message. It's going to see it's going to see the oops that I just typed, and it's going to fail. So let's wait for that message to come in. All right. So we open this email, and now we see that ProtonMail did not automatically decrypt this. Uh, so there's a lot of ways it could fail. Um, this is just one of the ways. So now I want to show you how to decrypt this um, if this happens to you. So first we need to obtain our private key from ProtonMail. So in order to do that we need to go to settings. And we're going to go to our keys. And you can see this is my email. I'm going to expand this drop down right here and then hit export. And I want to export my private key. So um, this is a very uh, serious operation and you want to make sure that your uh, computer is secure when you do this. Um, if someone gets your private key that you're exploiting right now, they'll be able to read all of your email. So you want to avoid that. So it's it's uh, going to ask us to confirm our current password. So let me... Okay, and then so once we enter our ProtonMail password, it's going to ask us for another password, and this is the password to encrypt our private key. Um, you want to enter a strong password here. It can be the same password that you use for ProtonMail if you want. Uh, for demo purposes, I'm just going to enter 1, 2, 3, and export. And once I save this... Okay, so once I've saved this, I can go back to Cleopatra. And uh, now we're going to go import the private key that we just saved from ProtonMail. We're going to go to File, Import, and we're going to find our private key this time. And we're going to hit Open on that. And uh, we're going to we're going to say yes because this is our own key, so we're going to trust this key. And uh, if I exit out of the Notepad by clicking this button right here. Uh, you can see that um, now I have a trust level ultimate certificate here, and uh, this, or, or sorry, trust level certification here. And this key now includes both the public and private part because I imported both the public and private parts, right? So if, if I hit import, we imported both of these keys, so now we have the entire key pair. So with this key pair, we can decrypt the message that we just received. So let's go to Notepad and um, we'll go back to our mail and we're going to grab the PGP message that we just emailed to ourselves. We're going to leave out the extra part, right? We're just going, we just want the text of the PGP message. And we're going to paste this in and now we're going to hit decrypt. And while it's decrypting, it's going to ask us for the password to our uh, private key. And that's the second password that we entered while exporting from ProtonMail, right? So that password was 1, 2, 3. And now we hit that, and now you can see that decryption succeeded, and it says super secret message again. So that's, in a nutshell, how you decrypt um, a PGP message that you that you've received in ProtonMail, but somehow ProtonMail did not automatically decrypt it for you. Uh, so in the next uh, couple of videos, I want to show you some more things about signing and stuff, but I want to end this video here, so thanks for watching, and see you next time.